It was perhaps the most significant milestone in India's nuclear weaponization since the Pokhran blasts of May 1998. On Tuesday, it successfully test fired the K-15, a nuclear-capable ballistic missile from under the sea of the Vaisa coastline. This will give India its deadliest nuclear strike weapon and its most assured capability to retaliate against a nuclear attack by an enemy. But on a day it could have thumped its chest, India kept absolutely silent. The reason? US Defense Secretary Robert Gates was in town. But Gates surprised his hosts by strongly endorsing the missile test. India is the world's largest democracy. Uh, it's in our interest to develop this relationship, uh, just as it is in the Indians' interest. Uh, I don't think there's particular risk, particularly from our standpoint. The message is that the U.S. is not just comfortable, but supportive of India's rise as a bigger power, and that it sees a considerable military element in its growing ties with India. The K-15 missile will give India the capability to launch a stealthy nuclear attack from 50 meters under the sea to a land target 700 kilometers away. India's clearly gate crashed into the club of five big powers. What's made it easier is that the world is not sweating about it. In New Delhi, Vishal Thapar.